The radio call goes out as a business fire, but when crews arrive, they find a lot of fire and not much business. I happen to be across the street watching the football game. Brett Vickler owns Invisible Fence. His business is next door to the bagel bin, where firefighters say the blaze started. Flames just moved into our side of the attic, and it'll all be burnt to the ground here in an hour, I'm sure. Fickler might sound pessimistic, but he's just being realistic. Within minutes, the fire did just as Fickler predicted. His business becomes more fuel for the flames. Currently, the outside air temperature is negative six, and these crews continue to battle this blaze. At that temperature, the water could almost freeze into snow before it hits the fire. Take that and add wind, crews got a fight on their hands. While flames, smoke, and steam fill the sky, all people can do is watch their hard work go up in smoke. All our inventory, our equipment, our computers, our customers, our files, everything's in there. There's not much I can do about it. If I could stop it, I would. As temperatures continue to drop, so does water from fire hoses. Firefighters doing their best to save what's left of a business community. At 119th and Pacific, Dave Roberts, Action 3 News.